All right, welcome back to another UJ Esports stream. We're here live with Call of Duty. Um, they're going to be going up against, let me see if I can remember who it was. Well, you guys see who it is on the screen. But you're here with UJ Pot of Greed and... Two Spoiled Two from Valorant. Hey, oh. So, we're going to go ahead and try to give you the best coverage that we can. But we're also going to watch Phase Me Fall and Link and Optic Waffle. All right, hot start for UJ as they uh, are now running out of spawn. So... Um, for those that have watched the stream before or are familiar with Call of Duty, um, they're pick. playing Control. Go ahead. Oh, there's a pick. <laughs> there's dropped a pick. two there. Yeah, it looks like UJ's going to... Link and Waffle both went down, though. Yes, they did. So I'm going to do my best to try to get between the two. It looks like it's not letting me spec. There we go. So it looks like Optic's going to be pushing up the middle. Ian's going to get a pick on sight. They're going to look to get a little bit of scrap time. Nice pick there by Optic Waffle and Phase Me as they're looking to take this first sight. Now, the opposing team is going to be backing off this at this point because at this point it's literally just scrap time. Unfortunately, Phase Me is going to fall. Optic Waffle is going to fall. But uh, they already got spawns and they're going to be looking towards the next hard point. It looks like the next hard point is in Kitchen. Nice kill there by Phase Me. He's probably going to get traded out pretty quick. Nope, he doesn't end up getting swung. Push it in nice. They're pushing the spawn. Yeah, they're the going to be pushing through spawns. And the goal of this push right now is for them to get the spawns to swap, for sure. So it looks like Ian got a far spawn. Link has got control in the side. He's not going to be looking the right direction, though. Unfortunately, falls. But phase oh, me. A team kill there. Indeed. Even though he was shot, you're right. It was a team kill. So it does look like... Optic Waffle is staying back, trying to get the spawns to flip. Another pick. He gets one there. That's a good pick. But unfortunately, UJ is going to end up taking about a 30-point deficit going into this next hard point. Oh, oh Optic Waffles. Nice play there. They're going to only get scrap time here, unfortunately. But it looks like Optic Waffles is going to start pushing towards the next hard point. Um, UJ's not set up well to, to go into this next hard point, but it looks like they got two... A phase me ends up falling. They expect the corner. Yep, they did. They did. Link is gonna. Dropped, Link's got to be expecting the next, and he doesn't quite. But optic Gets waffle. Out. Yes, that's a great trade there. Let's go ahead and see. It looks like they're kind of opting for a little bit of mid control. Link is going to be pushing. Optic waffle gets picked from oh, behind. I thought he might have had the angle there. I know that was a good idea. It just looks like Tech oh, was able no, to get around. I'm dropping. I know, like I flies. Hate to see it. You hate to see it. And obviously, because I'm biased, I'm only going to be specking UJ. You know, that's how <laughs> it goes. Don't have two hands to press, you know, five through seven or five through eight. It's fine. Everything's fine. Or if the home team. Oh, uh, Ian Plays uh, is going to fall in the aggression on the outside. Nice trade the there pick. by Optic. And it looks like Link is going to make the back play, but ends up getting meleeed. Phase Me gets the pick, though. Got him. But the unfortunate thing, again, is they're only getting scrap time here. So they're only going to get about five seconds off that. And they're falling to about a 40-point deficit, about a 50-point deficit. Oh. So let's go ahead and see if Optic Waffle. <laughs> I'm so glad that he named himself Optic Waffle. That's a good pick. That was a great first pick. Link and Ian plays both end up falling. Ian's coming from spawn. Optic Waffle's pushed up. He knows where one is. He knows where oh. this is. Oh, oh but he ends up losing the, the trade. Looking really tough for UJ to get some ground here. Yeah, you got to give some credit to this team. They came out swinging. Oh, oh the, the stick, stick and, and the two. Kill. Oh my goodness. Oh, we see Link and Ian plays fall to the Rough stick. To see, I don't know. Oh man. So Ian's gonna opt to take the route right, outside route. Gets one in the pool. You know, just going swimming for a headshot. It looks like Link and a, and a couple others are going to look for some middle uh, aggression. Post but up. Optic ends up falling on the outside. So let's go ahead and see. The next hill is going to be this mid hill. So fortunately, Yikes. this is the Two right play there. by UJ here to make the aggression towards mid to take it for the next spot. And it looks like Optic Waffle is going to be playing for any potential flank. But they're going to just walk on the site. Phase Me gets one, but ends up falling, gets traded right away. And I feel like in that scenario, Optic Waffle may have needed to be on site with his team. Or at least on a different portion of it, because he ended up making... The, the gamble didn't pay off quite what he had expected. UJ Link's going to fall. I agree. UJ kind of got crossfired there. They, they really did. They got a little bit of control and then fell apart a little too fast. Yep, yep. It shows you how strong a retake can be. 
Oh, man. Yep, we're just going to see UJ continuously falling here. Optic Waffle does get one, gets two. One. He's, he, yeah, and Ian Play gets another. But unfortunately, again, the, the maximum they're going to get from this is some scrap time, and that's not quite what they're looking for here. So Optic Waffle and Phase Me are going to be on the site already. Stealth okay. Tech goes in. Yep. Ian ends up falling Double in mid. Back and forth. It looks like they're going to have control for now, but Link falls Don't on the outside and Optic Waffle gets flanked. Getting shot off spawn. Man. They're going to go ahead and unfortunately not get the best spawn, but it looks like uh, the opposing team is calling in streaks right now to keep them pinned, to keep them off site. Um, it, it doesn't look like they're going to end up losing on this hill, but the next one, if they're not able to gain any control, they're going to end up falling with a quick... Oh, man. It's just not looking too winning? hot. <laughs> What's the winning uh, winning score? The winning score is 250. Yeah, I thought so. Yep. Yep. So Ian plays his contesting point. Um, ends up taking out the one on. May get a little bit of this scrap time. About the last seven seconds. Yep. Ugh. Ends up falling. So UJ is only at 75 to this 215. But let's see what, what UJ can do here. If there's any way, they're gonna have to string together some magic yeah. though. They're already calling in UJ's more streaks. playing a little bit split up here. Yeah, it, still it, just really being held off points. The other team set up. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Going for a big play. That's a big double. That was a big double by Ian plays, but no hopefully they they just need to get some follow up. up. Mm, ends up falling. Phase me gets the pick Got there. The trade. But unfortunately, their spawn is just gonna be Oof. so strong. They still retain their spawn on the oh, back side of the site. They got a triple there. <laughs> oh man. Oh, and Link gets meleeed in mid. Optic Waffle's going for the the window peak. Ends up falling. Phase Me falls in mid. Ian plays falls. Really, just desperation makes something happen, but it doesn't look like it's going to turn out. And that is going to be map one already. It's going to be a 250 to 76 loss for this UJ triple here. triple right there at the end. Yeah, this, I mean, you got to give them credit. These guys came out swinging. I'm not sure who's hosting which map. Um, or who is hosting the lobby, and if that's going to make a different uh, a difference going forward. Because um, usually each team hosts one. So, for example, okay. either UJ hosted, which I think they did, this first one, and then the other team will host the next, and then it goes back and forth until the five is done, or the first win three. And will that matter, like, in terms of ping? Or? Yes, that can okay. make a difference in terms of either ping or packet loss. Because as far as I know... Um, Cold War does not have designated servers. Gotcha. So, unfortunately, there's no neutral ground to find a common lobby. It's going to be whoever's hosting is going to have the better ping, which is why they try to mitigate it by going back and forth. So, Makes sense. big win for the opposing team that I will now attempt to remember the name <laughs> of. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Oh, Roosevelt University. Okay, okay, Roosevelt. Definitely not the name of a previous president or anything. Don't forget about it. You got it? It's true. It's true. I won't okay. promise. Yeah, I won't promise much either. But I love it. Looking at the chat, we got uh, time to pwn these noobs. Uh, the only in proper response. Thank you, K Moser, UJ fan. Um, and then we got uh, Angel of Fallen 11 saying, Hi, Pot of Greed. Hey, Angel. How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're going to go ahead and wait for a moment to see if we get invited to this next lobby. But I mean, there's not much to talk about besides they just they were out rotating us. You know, I think mm -hmm. we should probably start spamming that copy pasta that we have from Bowery. <laughs> it's um, true. We have a good old paragraph. This UJ team is a great team. Unfortunately, they need to work on their kills, their timing, their There's the invite. There's the invite. <laughs> is this one do we know the uh game mode? I think we do, but I already forgot. Yes. So. Yep. So the first map is gonna be, of course, what we just saw with the um hard point. This next one is gonna be search and destroy. The third one is gonna be control. And if it goes past the third one, which I hope UJ can end up taking one or two of these, uh, we will see another um hard point and then another search and destroy. So if you think about it this way, it's literally it goes our like hard point, search and destroy, control. Those three, unique, and then it goes in reverse order back. So, yep. Kind of. Well, I'm hoping this this will go better. Search and Destroy is, uh, I feel like it's a lot easier to do individual plays. I it agree. It looks like we were struggling to hold together as a team there. Yeah, so. yeah. And uh, personally, I've watched quite a bit of the Call of Duty League, and 
often you'll see teams that are very, very strong at what are called respawn game modes, which is hard point. Control kind of falls under that, um, but previously it was um, things like uh, capture the flag and stuff where you have designated respawn times. And, and obviously search and destroy, your goal is to either eliminate the opposing team or get the bomb down and win by planting the bomb. So, or, of course, by defending it. Um, so, we'll see. Maybe UJ is going to come out as a little bit less of a respawn team today and a little bit more. And it looks like we end up losing connection to the party. So, we'll go ahead and see. Are they switching out here or something? No. Sometimes uh, the lobbies have been a bit scuffed when uh, I've been attempting to spec them. So Unfortunate. Unfortunate. You know, I'm actually curious to see what the next iteration of Call of Duty will look like uh, with Vanguard coming out in literally, I think, less than a month now at this point. So I'm, I'm curious if we'll see that transition into Vanguard even this spring uh, with some competitive oh, scene. good point. Yeah, so I'm excited and looking forward to seeing that. Um, yeah, we'll see. I'm sure that they're going to have all the same squad. I love hearing all the whispers in my ears right now. Oh, yeah, the spooky noises. Oh, the spooky Good, good. That's all we've ever wanted. All right, so the party will be changed to open, and hopefully everyone will be able to hop in from here, and we'll be changed over to spectator pretty quick. Love seeing some of these 90s outfits. Great. Hmm. Oh, Call of Duty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think the only... Ian's gone again. <laughs> yeah, I, th I feel like this is going to be an ev inevitable thing. Where we may or may not, it may take a few minutes to find a lobby. That's okay. You know what? It's all right. We'll just we'll sit back and chat. You no, know, enjoy our time here. Yeah. Then why wouldn't we? You know, we're on the University of Jamestown's campus in the lair of the Hanson. No other place I would ever want to be, except maybe getting food. But you know. Yeah. Psh, but you know, hunger's temporary. Gaming is eternal. It's true. <laughs> Um, Food is temporary. The layer is forever. <laughs> I think that's the only and proper way to spec this. Game session not available. Good. Let's go ahead and see if we can join through. Oh, boy. Okay. okay. We're here. Whew. All right, and we're going right into it. All right. I'm glad that everyone in the lobby was inviting us. Um, it makes us feel kind of important <laughs> at the minimum. Uh, so, yes, Roosevelt University is the name of the college that we're playing against today. I'm actually not certain where they're from. Uh, so if anyone in the Twitch chat wants to look up where they're from, feel free and let us know. Um, then we can dox them and DDoS them in the middle of the game. I mean, um, uh, wish them uh, good luck. Wish them the best of luck. Yes, indeed. Indeed, indeed. I love it. All right. Jumping right into it. Looks like. Starting defending. Yep. Uh, does it switch every round? Or yes, is it there does. Okay. Um, no every, round. every round. Yep. Oh, phase me is going to fall mid very right away. Early. So there's going to be a bit of aggression by Optic Waffle. And it looks like, yep, he, he knows where he is. Oh, but he ends up falling. Ooh, they trade them together. That yeah. was actually a good peek. That was. Of them. Looks like the, they were protecting bomb as they were making their way. So it looks like they're going to go ahead and take this B side as their goal. And that's going to be a clean sweep for yeah. Roosevelt right there. A flawless if this were Valorant. Yeah, indeed. Indeed. Basically the equivalent to Valorant. As Angel they say. Fallen says he likes search and destroy. The most. She. It is the most tactical. So it is indeed. All right, we're gonna go ahead and see what uh what UJ can do here on attack. They're gonna go ahead and we're gonna see where they're gonna end up making their aggression. Two two split. Yep, looks like they're gonna go ahead and split. I kind of liked what I saw from Roosevelt last. Yeah, but that's a great peak. Link ends up yeah, falling. Yeah, getting some info with that. Yeah, that's. Yeah, I mean, you really, honestly, got to just use the slide in this game. It is so, so broken, in my opinion. It's wild. I compare it, uh, the other day I was comparing it to, like, the the mushroom you get in Mario Kart, where you just <laughs> get just, like, a little extra boost. It's not for very long, 
But, man, the distance you gain yeah, on these slides. Cut. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm glad we're making like Call of Duty comparisons to, <laughs> yeah. to Mario Kart. <laughs> Mario Kart. Ooh, oh, nice pick. pick there by Optic Waffle, and it's going to make it a 3v3. 3v3. Dude, look at us. We're so good at commentating. We just <laughs> say the same thing, and that's all we oh, need to do. pick. Hey, oh, nice picks there by Optic Waffle. Ends up, uh, Waffle is going to fall here. And it's going to be a 2v2. Oh, they don't see. Okay. Tech is going to get traded. Oh, oh do they Ian, see him? Ian they... doesn't see him. Oh. Ends up getting picked off the bomb plant. Was it a 1v1 there? It was indeed a 1v1. Dang. That was close. I think what I've, I would have liked to see there is, um, well, this is a great play by Optic Waffle to get these two picks, and we're going to see them both on the best play. But uh, I think what I would have liked to see from Ian plays there is instead of going for the plant right off the bat because he actually had a little bit of time left to play with, I think uh, I would have liked to see him go for the fake plant and hold that window just yep. just on the assumption that if he was going to be doing a peek. But bear in mind, it's a guessing game. So it's anyone's. Oh, we got we to gotta go Ian plays and chat. No, absolutely no uh, bias, I'm sure, considering the last name is the same uh, from our viewer. What? Um, <laughs> Impossible. Yeah, no, Ian's last name is Plays, and we all know that, so. Yeah. Don't you know everyone's gamer tag is their full name? <laughs> yeah, that's why they call me Pot of Greed. First, middle, last. Optic Waffle. Yeah, Optic Born Waffle. Oh, man, Tech is going to end up getting two there. Link is going to get one pick, but it's going to be a 1v3 going into this next portion. We're going to go ahead and see. They know that one's up on window. At least that's what hopefully Link had called out. I don't know if Optic Waffle is going to make the peak. I just hope he doesn't get traded from the back They're right away. All holding angles. We saw that guy up in the window. Yep, that's what I'm worried about most. Okay, near impossible. Yep. Yep. Getting shot in the back. Great plays by Roosevelt. You, you, you can't can't do anything but just. Hey, it doesn't have a dust dust cover. Throw it as AK. <laughs> that actually is very interesting. I wonder if that's a skin? Question mark. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. know. Huh. <laughs> Should we check? Interesting. See if he has it out. I think, he, didn't he? Yeah, right there. Yeah, it looks like it must be a skin. Wacky. That is wacky. I'm so glad that that's our choice of words there. All right. So it looks like there's going to be a full stack rush towards B. Um, they're going to do a little bit of peeking mid. But, man, Roosevelt gets right in the face right away. Nice pick there. We, there. Go. we got a pick. That's a good pick Three, by Ian four. Plays. So we're going to go ahead and see. Yep. Hopefully UJ can take this into their own hands from this point on. Going towards the B site. One's going to fall in window. Nice oh, grenade by Optic Waffle. Made. It's going to be a 3v2 here. Oh. And it's going to be a 3v1. Nice job for UJ. They need to make sure that they're staying together here. Yep. Don't want to give any free kills away. Not at all. This is actually get one. Not able to trade it. Looks like they don't know exactly where it is, but Optic Ooh, Waffle is going to get that pick, and it was good, good that we were getting the wraparound on the other side. Mm -hmm. Nice Take round. around there, yeah. That's a big round for UJ here. I mean, most of the others. Oh, he's stuck. Oh, what I didn't know toss. that. Wow. Nice toss by Waffle. Yeah, let's go ahead and see if we can take a peek at what the KDs going into this are. I'm not sure if it's going to let me hold tab to view all, but it looks like Tech is going to be rocking the 5-3 and three KD. Oh, Grimjo is uh, at a five and one. Leo, Leo is at one and two. Yikes is at three and two. We got Link at one and four at the moment. Ian plays at two and four at the moment. Phase me at zero and three. We got Optic Waffle at five and three. So let's go ahead and see going into this next round what UJ can do. They're going to be playing a bit of aggression together. UJ's I actually like this uh, call. Yeah, I like them playing a little bit more together. So at least maybe they can get some trades going. I think that's going to be the most important part. Oh, Ooh. Ian plays ends up falling. Just wasn't quite able to nice. react. And Phase Me falls as well. So it's going to be a 2v4. point to be at. Nice this pick there kill. by Optic Waffles. He's got to be ready in case he gets traded out. He's watching. We're going to watch Link to see if he gets anything. And the bomb is actually... Was right by Optic Waffle there, but ends up making his way back around. So it's going to be a 2v3. Oh, Link he just ends up not. Spotted. Oh, oh like, man. He's taking the fight. He's got to be so low. Such a dirty heady. Um, uh, it does look like uh, 
Um, Optic Waffle. Oh, oh, he gets caught in the back. Yikes was they have caught. A flank that whole time. Yikes must have been in their spawn. Yep, it looks like he, look where he's holding. He was by the van. Man, what a dirty spot. Great play Picks by him. One. Link ends up falling one. one and two. This is doable. Definitely doable. He does have a stun if he's interested in using, but they know where he's going to be coming from. Yep, there's that stun. He does get info that there's one on site. He doesn't know where, though. He's assuming. Oh, he saw the slide. Let's see what Link can do here. The double oh. peak. Great play by Roosevelt on that double peak. A little bit closer rounds there, but. Yeah. Still going to be 4-1 to one in favor of Roosevelt. Interesting that that ends up being play of the game. But, you know, <laughs> you know best play of the round, I should say. All right. So let's go ahead and see. The attack side has been the strongest side for UJ thus far. Let's see if they can take it and put it at a 4-2 score line going into this next. And it looks like they're going to opt for a little bit of a split push. They got two and two. So Waffle gets done. That's fine, though. Yep. Totally blind, but that's fine. Get some tags. And they know that Tech is there. He's doing the same little jiggle peek he's been doing. They're throwing nades, but he has uh, his trophy system down in the back corner. Yep. That's going to end up destroying those nades as they get close. Optic Waffle ends up swapping over to the AR. I believe he was on the 74U prior to swapping AR, and it looks like we're going to be running four ARs. Well, so let's go ahead and see. They're playing pretty passive at the moment. There's not been too strong of contact made, but Phase Me and two others from Roosevelt are actually rather close in proximity to mm -hmm. each other. They're let's all go ahead looking for... For some picks here. They're so oh close to each other. Oh my gosh, Leo's right there. Check your right phase. I'm totally not. Oh, oh. Yikes gets the pick. Yikes gets, gets traded one. though. That's a great trade. They don't oh, know. They don't know. They don't know about him. No one was with him. Optic Waffle time. got one. They're running out of time. Oh, but they get a team kill and it's a 1v1. Waffle has time to get bombed oh. down. They know where he is. He's he going to be pushing. Gets the slide oh. oh, my goodness. Doesn't quite sneak out. I can't believe they ended up getting a team kill there. That was a bit... That was interesting. Yeah. His teammate must have just scared him or something. He just. I think it was at the exact same time they were shooting the same individual. He ends up picking his teammate. Gotcha. Yeah, they didn't. They just didn't quite they, clear enough. Unfortunately, that's the third or fourth time that UJ has been kind of caught out. Um, by that spot, Leo's played there the same spot mm -hmm. the last few attack or defense rounds for them in a row. So I'd like to see if UJ could capitalize on that. Actually, I would like to see UJ hold that same angle if they can make their way towards mid and get that spot. So actually, I was wrong. Phase Me has been running the 74U the whole time, it looks like. Chat has informed us Roosevelt is from Chicago. Oh, look at that. Thanks, K Moser, UJ fan. You're the real MVP. I can't wait for you to hear this in two minutes. <laughs> Optic Waffle, there's going to be some aggression. He's going to hear those trophies go down. So he's going to know. Oh, but they plant the bomb really quick there. Great pick by Phase Me. It's traded. Nice pick yeah, there by Optic. Or yep, it's going to be a 3v1. 3v1. Oh, they're all pushing from the same side. Okay, they've got to make their move now. Nice they job. That one got dropped as well. That's a great round. That was a fast round as well. Yeah. Compared to the others at least. Yeah, they really went in. Got the plant down and, and were, well, ended up getting traded out pretty quick, uh, which is good. But this is still going to put UJ up against the wall with a 5-2 deficit. They're going to have to make it, I mean, the only way to win, there's no overtime. So it's either got to be a 6-5 or it's going to be 6 to whatever we end up with. That's true. So no pressure. The uh, AK-74U is looking really strong. Yeah. Not gonna lie. Yeah, yeah. Welcome to... Um, <laughs> Welcome to Cold War, my man. <laughs> uh, all right, so let's see if UJ can string together a pretty strong attacking round. They've been so close, but, uh, like a couple of these attack rounds. One, they, it's came down to 1v1 twice Yep. in rounds that UJ could have ended up shifting in their favor, but we'll go ahead and see what UJ can do here. So they're going to opt for a bit of a split push again. They're kind of just Makes making progress. Holding that angle. Yeah. Oh, he looks like he might have backed off. Leo is in that same spot. I hope that uh, UJ ends up taking time to check it. I, I, I think that FaZe knows. Yep. 
hopefully. Oh, oh, no, ends up falling to yikes. That's a yikes indeed. So Optic Waffle's going to play a little bit of slow aggression. They're going to be looking for that, that f a bit of a flank. Oh, Ian Contact plays ends up falling. Here, they drop one for one. That's that's not bad in this scenario, but it's still going to be a 2v3 in favor of Roosevelt mm. University. We don't have a lot of ground here. going to have to... I, it looks like they're just going to opt to rotate off-site. It yep, um, looks like there's only one sitting wide A, so... You know, that's a great sight by Link to see that there. Leo Leo is going to end up Gets the stun going. some... Step attacks going. Doesn't actually get him. That's good. And it looks like Optic Running Waffle... time. Optic Waffle does have his um, trophy system that he could get down. He's going to end up getting shot from behind. Oh, uh, we got dropped. It's going to be a 3v1. Eight seconds. Oh, man, that's going to end up likely seeing UJ falling here. He just needs to make aggression towards bomb, see if he can get picks. It's going to be all over if he doesn't, and unfortunately, UJ's going to drop map two. Yep. So it's going to wow. be a 2-0 lead for university. Or, sorry, for the university known as Roosevelt. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> got there in the end. Yeah, we, we got there. One day at a time, baby. Scoreboard. Classic. Classic. Should we be a... So, it's going to be... Ta-da! Look at that. I'm so good at typing occasionally. IT major coming at you, baby. But, we'll go ahead and see. We're going to go into map three. It's going to be control. Um... Let me go ahead and see what the next map is. Uh, they were all sent in the chat. So the third map is going to be Raid, uh, which is the same map we saw for the first match. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's been a bit tough to see if UJ can make any... They haven't been able to get much of a foothold, unfortunately. They're kind of just grasping at straws, and they, they got to take this game if they can to just yep. keep the series alive. Maybe they'll come up with a new strategy, maybe just... Four stack rush all the all together all the time <laughs> forever and ever. Know. Oh man, indeed. And it looks like uh, they accidentally changed phase me to a spec. We're gonna be getting in. Um, we're gonna be your unofficial fourth now. From yep, this it's point on, actually us playing. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. yep. Oh now they switched. Darn. We were yeah. so close. So close. You were gonna so be on close. the keyboard. I was gonna be on the mouse. Yeah, it would have been flawless because you know uh, it's controller locked, and we would have told them, <laughs> hey. It's fine. One of us is playing mouse, the other one's playing keyboard. Yeah, and okay. they would have been like, okay, sounds good. Um, but going into map three, down 2 0 at the moment. Let's go ahead and see what UJ can string together. We're going to see if they're on attack or defense first. I'm not certain which one they'll start on. Looks like they're going to be starting right. on attack. So this is a rather interesting game mode. Oh boy, this lobby. For yeah, us is dropping frames. Very scuffed. I hope um, Phase Me ends up getting a pick with the nade right away. I'm hoping that this isn't the case for them. Can he get the trade? Doesn't end up getting the pick, oh! but oh, does end up falling. Pushed. Oh boy. Tech's going in their spawn. He's going to get one too. Link's getting the pick. Good trade there, but a good pick there by Link. There we go. They're stacking up a bit. Wow, I feel like I'm watching people draw with pastels, and and that's pretty much what we're getting. <laughs> uh, like a live motion pastel. Nice trade. Nice kill there. Oh, doesn't, doesn't quite, quite end up getting the pick. Doesn't quite get him. Phase me. Ian plays. It looks like Optic oh. Waffle's going to be the last one up. Ends up falling. Tex really just putting in work in our spawn. He keeps they keep pushing up super aggressive when they know they got ground. Get a double. Finally get the trade. I can't help but wonder if if this lobby if this lobby looks the same for them. Hope not. Well said uh, by KS Walker one zero one six seven eight. UJ needs to step it up a little to beat these guys. Wow. That's true. Uh, that's I don't know if I know very many truer words. Um, that have been spoken on stream, especially live. Um, but, I mean, if you want to just kind of watch as we uh, just continue to fall. Unfortunate. Yep, 
UJ is going to lose this first attack side on control. So we'll go ahead and see what they can string together on, on defense on this next part. I sure hope. Oh my gosh, the spring on that AK looks so crazy <laughs> with how Scott the lobby is right now. I know, I know, man. It's like a rubber band. Yeah, I, uh, I wonder if it's just our connection. I'm not certain. What is round wins for control? It's first to three. First to three. Yep. A huge rush just going straight in at B. Yes, they are. And Link's going to end up falling. And we only had one there. Yeah, looks like it. We have a bit of a mid-aggression. Nice pick there, first one. Good one pick. So the way this Spotted. works. Dropped. Yep, phase me ends up getting dropped. Oh, doesn't end up getting the Ooh. pick. They're going to be coming in from behind. Looks like Optic Waffle gets one. He's going to try to start contesting. They need to get the contest down, make sure that the defense occurs. Oh, man. Oh, We're just losing on the other side yep, of the site, they too. Do. They got split aggression. Yeah, they already the map there. They had all three of their teammates on A before we even had one. Literally, wow. And it looks like they're it's already gone. So point A is going to be secured. Now it's going to be just strictly B defense. So let's go ahead and see what UJ can string together. Nice pick there by Link that off pick? the bat. We're going to go see. We're going to see some mid aggression, and that mid aggression is going to end up. Oh, we get a team. Oh, we get a team kill, unfortunately. Through his own teammate. And Tech is gonna end up getting a pick there. We don't have anyone on site. I don't know if we're gonna have time to contest for too long. Oh, the they're just gonna keep. Comes through. Uh, oh wow, dominating fashion by yeah, Roosevelt it's, University. It's, it's big feels bad, man. Man, you're seeing a lot of players from Roosevelt University making. Pretty strong individual plays. Their their yeah. presence on our spawn has been. It, it shows you uh, the good thing about this, at the very least, is that the UJ Call of Duty team is going to come out with a lot of good footage to see where they don't match up against teams like this. So mm -hmm. they can see a you lot know, of stuff to review. Absolutely, and uh, it's fortunate because that's where you'll get to see like, okay, maybe I was pushed out a little too far on this hold. Maybe. I shouldn't swing at this time, but hold the angle a little bit closer, maybe jiggle peek, slide back and forth like you've seen them do, but Yikes is going to get UJ Waffle. Ian Play is going to get a pick, and then two uh, others UJ's are going to fall. back to being really split here. Yeah, yeah. I I wonder if their best attack would be to do the full-on four attack like, um, like Roosevelt had done. I think it's just your best chance to like get, get some momentum going. Especially with how uh, Roosevelt's been kind of picking us apart. Nice pick. picks. I knew, that the one, I knew someone was going to be up there. We have a couple picks, but their spawns are going to be pretty fast. Two for one trade there. Yeah, but we're going to be down and live. So I guess another component of control is actually the opposing t the teams both have a certain amount of lives. And we're going to be down two lives going to this. Just about getting tied oh. back up, but not quite. We're going to fall. Looks like there's going to get a just little bit of A aggression. Straight on the site. Yep, he pretty much has to. So it looks like the, he's going to oh, be a but distraction. Oh, he, he distracted their whole team. That's a great play there by Ian Plays. Hopefully, uh, UJ can get a little Some bit of trade. a strong aggression here. Optic Waffles gets a nice pick. Gets a second. Double. But unfortunately, it's I don't know how you, UJ spawns it. Is it. Yep, it Some is being contested from him. mid. Yikes falls. Window's going to be aggressing. Ends up getting the pick from window. Wow, great coverage by Link there. Nice pick there mid pick. by Optic Waffle. Waffle's popping off right now. Yeah, great stuff by Optic Waffle. Nice pick there. They know the window doesn't get picked. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh no. he finally drops. But great aggression on A to see what they can Swapped do here. Oh, the stem text. No. Gets get two. Double. But phase me gets two right back. Wow. Might Good aggression to, here oh, by UJ. They're going to take this site. They're going to get another minute it. to aggress on the B. But it's going to unfortunately be 4v4 here. Oof. Oh, man. Phase me gets picked. Link is going to be in the back. Oh, uh, Yikes ends up lives. killing himself. Optic Waffle doesn't quite get the pick. Phase me is going to be looking to make aggression towards B. That, but that he that angle there. Seeing him. 
Link is in a good spot in the back of their spawn, but he ends up getting uh, found. found. Oh, no. So Yujis is going to have just seven lives to play with to Roosevelt's 11 right now. Great movement and plays by Optic Waffle there, but... They can't fake a sight anymore. Actually ends up getting drops there. Link ends up getting a pick, but unfortunately... Two picks in the phase of Roosevelt. And Optic another gets... pick back. One pick back. It's This is going to be the last few lives for UJ and here. Four to nine. So UJ eight. is only going to have three up for the it's rest of this. only 20 seconds as well. Link is... Mm, Oh, going for the aggression on the outside. Phase me gets a pick. Leo's going to see him. And that's going to seal the deal. That was a lot closer, but still didn't even pick up a round there. You know, yeah, definitely better than what we saw for the first two rounds. Those first two yeah, rounds were strong absolutely. in Roosevelt's favor. But UJ did manage to make it a bit of a nail-biter towards the end, but just ended up losing out on stock. Great plays by Link. I yeah. think what I'd like to see from UJ is... Better, like, right away they should be getting those trophy systems down on site because they mm -hmm. took so... You mean, how many double kills did Roosevelt have with those nades? So many. Too many. Yeah, too many. Too if many. you get those... Uh, um, if you get your trophy systems down in time, you can avoid some of those kills. Mm -hmm. But that's going to be... get a little bit better at adapting as well. Yeah, just being prepared for what's to come. But, as said, like, this is going to be great stuff for the Call of Duty team to be able to watch back and see, okay, this is what we need to work on, just like you were even saying, too. Some of those things, but that's going to be a clean 3-0 sweep in favor of Roosevelt. Don't worry, I'm going to really strongly type it in the chat. UJ Falls, 3-0 to Roosevelt. Or would it be 0-3? Mm, yeah. <laughs> I've decided yes. Mm, the answer... Yes. All right. Well, that's going to wrap up our action rather quickly. So about 45 yeah. minutes in, they work their way through the three maps. Dominance from Roosevelt. Not much to say. Got not much to, to say. Do. Yep. So looking forward, um, I'm pretty sure that Call of Duty will be live again next week around the same time at 4.30. Um, they'll be continuing their round robin play, as far as I know. Um, that determines seeding uh, going into it. Uh, their tournament later, I don't know, in the next month, month and a half or so. Um, but as for some of the next cu upcoming action, does Overwatch have a game tomorrow again? Honestly, I'm not sure. I know uh, League of Legends is potentially on Sunday. Got unless it. Unless a player can't make it. Got it. So what time? What day do you guys normally play? Uh, League? Normally, League of Legends plays on Wednesdays at seven. Got it. So, so rescheduling from tonight yep. to next week or till this Sunday. Yep. Got it. So there may not be a ton of action for UJ Esports these next few days. There won't be any tournament again this Saturday. It's, um, both uh, Smash Bros and Hearthstone, as far as I know, um, that they only had a weekend split of Saturday Sunday. Yep. Um, and they'll be back. Hearthstone will be back a little bit earlier. I believe it's. On the like 28th or 29th, they'll start back up again, or the 30th, it may be. Um, and then um, Smash Bros. won't be until mid-November that they'll have another tournament. But uh, there will be a Valorant game on Monday, um, likely going to be moved to 8.30, assuming that there's going to be an Overwatch game at 6, um, like there has been. Um, yeah, so... As for UJ Esports, um, be on the lookout. Uh, we'll go live when we do. Uh, you already know. <laughs> um, you know, K Moser, UJ fan, you'll be receiving every possible text from me telling you when there are next games. But I think that's going to be about wrap up for us here. That's yeah. going to be the Call of Duty Cold War matches. It's going to be a 3 0 in favor of Roosevelt University. This is what it is. It is. Hate to see it. For the home team. <laughs> awesome. Well, you guys have a good rest of your day. Thanks for swinging by. This is uh, UJ Pot of Greed and Too Spoiled 2. Signing out. Peace.